Hi everyone, I'm Javon with Talk Fusion Support and I'm going to show you how to access the all new enhanced live meetings. Once you log into your dashboard, you'll be able to create your live meeting by clicking on the live meetings option in the create section. This will take you to your live meetings calendar page. Once the page loads, You'll notice at the bottom left corner, you'll have a green dot with a plus sign in it. This will allow you to create your live meeting. Clicking on this will give you the option to name your meeting, describe your meeting, set your date and time preferences, as well as your recurring and security options. You also have the ability to choose your waiting room banner for this live meeting. Once you're satisfied with this screen, click continue. And on this screen, you'll be able to invite your attendees for your live meeting. We also give you the option to copy and paste the meeting URL into other options, such as your own email, Facebook, Twitter, or however you choose to provide your attendees with this link outside of TalkFusion. If you do choose TalkFusion to invite your attendees, we give you the ability to search your address book and invite those attendees right there on the screen. You can also edit the contact information for this attend invitation that's sent. Create a custom subject line and body for the, for the live meeting. Once you're satisfied with your invitation, click continue, and the invitation will be sent out immediately. Lastly, you have the option to add on reminders, follow-up, and surveys to your live meeting. Once you're satisfied with scheduling your meeting, click submit, and now the meeting will appear on your calendar page. Once you've created your meeting, you can go ahead and start the meeting. To launch your meeting, click the play button. It'll open your meeting in a new tab on your browser and will give you the option to start the meeting by clicking on the rocket ship. You'll also have recording options. If you do not want to record the meeting, toggle the record option off. We'll go ahead and start the meeting. Once you're in your room, you'll be given your present presentation screen. And you on your presentation screen, you have a couple of options here. One of the first options I want to show you is that you can drag and move this presentation window around on anywhere on the screen. Anywhere on the bottom panel will automatically snap your presentation stream back to the center of the screen. On the presentation screen, you have a couple of options here. The first of which is the camera option. If you want to pause your camera stream, you can click on that by clicking the camera option. To the right of that is the microphone to mute yourself. To the right of that is the full screen option to go into full screen. And the last option is to minimize your camera stream. In the share option, you have a few more options to run your live meeting. The first of which is presentation. The all new presentation screen gives you the ability to load up opportunity presentations with different languages on the fly. You still have the ability to minimize or lower the size of the presentation pods that are on your screen. You can go ahead and toggle through the presentation at any given time. 
or you can seek through and find a particular slide that you'd like to use for your presentation. Once you're done with the presentation, click on the X button to close it out. The next option within Share is Desktop Share. Desktop Share allows you to share content from your desktop to your members inside of your meeting. Once you click Desktop, it'll give you the ability to copy the activation code. However, you'll first need to download the application to run Desktop Share. We offer this for Windows and Mac. Once it's downloaded and installed, open that application, and then you'll be able to copy and paste the activation code into the application. Once you paste the code, the Start Meeting button will light up, indicating that it's ready to start sharing your desktop and you can also choose which desktop you would like to share. For this meeting, we'll stick with our original screen. Once you click share, Start Sharing, the screen will turn black, indicating that your desktop is now being shared with your audience. Once again, anything you have on this screen is being shared to the entire audience. Once you're done with desktop sharing, click Stop Sharing. Then you can go ahead and close out the desktop share panel. The next option in Share is Browser Share. Browser Share allows you to browse any website within your meeting to all of your attendees. We'll go ahead and search for something in Google. Now, anything that you see on this page is being shared with your attendees. Anytime you scroll through the page, it also scrolls for your attendees, so they, there's no need for them to touch on their mouse on their end. You have complete control over the browser. Once you're done with the browser share, click the X button at the upper right-hand corner. Next within the sharing option is file share. File share allows you to share any documents on your computer to your attendees. By clicking Browse, you'll be able to browse your computer, locate the file you'd like to share with the audience, and upload it into the presentation. Do remember, you need to click on the eyeball icon at the upper right-hand corner of the, present, of the file share uh, window so that your attendees will be able to see and download any files that you've uploaded. You, have the, as the presenter, will also be able to delete any file that you've uploaded and download any file that you've uploaded or upload more content. If you no longer wish to share any files with your audience, you can hide this from your audience or just simply delete the file and close out the file sharing option. The next option is chat. Chat allows you to ch chat with any and all of your attendees inside the live meeting. This is also Unicode compatible, so it will work with any foreign language that's being typed into the, into the chat message. We also have emoticons inside this chat window. These emoticons are similar to the ones that you'll see inside your cell phone. Your attendees also have the ability to use these emoticons and chat back with you with them. You can also clear out the chat as the presenter if you no longer want to keep the chat history. Next is participants. Participants allows you to see all of your attendees that have joined the meeting. You also have the ability to show this window to all of the attendees so they can also see who's inside the meeting as well. If you don't want to show this, then you can always choose to turn the 
option off by clicking the eyeball icon at the upper right of the window. Within the attendee list, you'll have your guests. Each guest will have their own options. The first option is to toggle the camera on and off for any attendee or for the attendee that you selected. Since my buddy Nathan's here in the room with us, we'll go ahead and light up his camera. You as a presenter have the ability to hide Nathan's camera, mute Nathan, or just simply close his camera out altogether. You can also provide presenter rights to Nathan, or you can block Nathan from the meeting if you no longer want him in the meeting. The next option is draw. Draw is like a whiteboard feature that allows you to draw anywhere on the screen. You have many options within this. You can change the cursor size by making it smaller or larger, clicking anywhere on the screen to change the color of the cursor. You can do a highlight mode or an eraser mode. And you also have undo, redo, and clear to completely clear out anything that you might draw. So I'll go ahead and demonstrate this by drawing something. I'll make an attempt to draw a tree. We'll have a living on some grass. And maybe give it a sun. I didn't like that last part I drew on the sun, so we'll use the eraser. Clear it out. And see if we can make it look a little better. That looks a little better. Inside your live meeting, you have the ability to invite people who you might have forgotten to invite prior to you launching the meeting. You still have the option to copy the link, change the contact information of the sender, and you can still search for contacts that are listed inside your address book and invite them into the meeting. The subject line and message body is also required for you to send out to the attendee that you're inviting. We give you the option in settings to change your background for your meeting. Once you click save, the image will then show and display for all of your attendees inside the meeting. This is an instant change. So once it's changed, everyone will see it. And you can also change it back to the default if you choose to. Once you're done with your presentation, you can click on the end button to end your meeting. It'll give you a confirmation. You'll need to click the end meeting button to confirm that confirmation. Thank you for watching this demonstration of the enhanced version of live meetings. If you need any help, feel free to call us or email us at support at talkfusion.com. You can also email us for one-on-one -on -one training support if needed using this product and we'll be happy to assist you. Once again, thank you for watching.